What is energy crisis? The energy crisis is the concern that the world's demands on the limited natural resources that are used to power industrial society are diminishing as the demand rises. Russia's invasion of Ukraine triggered the first truly global energy crisis in 2022. The price of natural gas reached record highs, and as a result, so did electricity in some markets. While today's energy crisis shares some parallels with the oil shocks of the 1970s, there are important differences. Higher energy prices have contributed to painfully high inflation, pushed families into poverty, forced factories to curtail output or even shut down, and slowed economic growth to the point that some countries are heading towards severe recession. What are renewable resources? Renewable resources are the natural resources that do not get depleted or exhausted even after their continuous consumption. These get replenished or replaced through natural processes during a finite amount of time. For example, sunlight and wind. What are non-renewable resources? Non-renewable resources are the natural resources that get depleted or exhausted with continuous human consumption and also do not get replenished or replaced such as mineral ores, fossil fuels, groundwater, etc. To sum it up. The difference between these two types of resources is that renewable resources can naturally replenish themselves while non-renewable resources cannot. This means that non-renewable resources are limited in supply and cannot be used sustainably. We have many resources that we can use in the Philippines. So to help lessen the energy crisis, these are the resources that are best for the Philippines. First is natural gas. Natural gas is the cleanest burning of all fossil fuels, emitting up to 60% less carbon dioxide than coal. It also does not leave behind byproducts like ashes and sludge that are harmful to our health and the environment. Second is geothermal power plants. Geothermal power plants generate power using natural heat and steam from beneath the Earth's surface. It is the only type of clean and renewable energy that can provide uninterrupted power, 24-7. Third is hydroelectric power plants. Hydroelectric power plants produce power by harnessing energy from flowing or moving water. Apart from being a source of renewable energy, hydro plants also help with flood control, irrigation, and water supply. Fourth is wind turbines. Wind turbines use the kinetic energy of wind to generate electricity. It is one of the renewable energy sources with the lowest environmental impact. Lastly is solar energy. Solar energy is produced when solar panels absorb photons, tiny energy particles from sunlight. Solar energy is known to be the cleanest and most abundant renewable energy source. There are alternative ways to produce cost-efficient energy. Some options for reducing the energy crisis include among these green and environmentally friendly alternative energy options. First is solar energy. Solar energy can minimize the reliance on the conventional grid, something that's becoming increasingly necessary in modern times. Furthermore, it reduces pressure on sectors that have greater power demand during these times. Most critical, given the growing concern over climate change, is the fact that solar electricity generation represents a clean alternative to electricity from fossil fuels, with no air and water pollution, no global warming pollution, and many more. Second is hydropower. Hydropower also known as water power, is the use of falling or fast running water to produce electricity or to power machines. Hydropower is an affordable source of electricity that costs less than most. Lastly is wind energy. Wind is a renewable energy source. Overall, 
using wind to produce energy has fewer effects on the environment than many other energy sources. Through the use of wind turbines, instead of using electricity to make wind, like a fan, wind turbines use wind to make electricity. Wind turns the propeller-like blades of a turbine around a rotor, which spins a generator, which creates energy to use. Awareness of the energy crisis The energy crisis has three main impacts on the economy, such as the increase of oil prices, and financial downturns and it offers the opportunity to develop renewable energies. Experts say that oil will be finished in approximately 2050 and gas in about 2070. Renewable energies could replace them. The world consumes 85 million barrels of oil per day in manufacturing and transport. 97% of the transportation sector in the USA is moved by energy made from oil. The main cause of the energy crisis is overconsumption. Energy crisis is a result of many different strains on our natural resources, not just one. There is a strain on fossil fuels such as oil, gas, and coal due to overconsumption. Environmental effects are just one effect of the energy crisis. Energy is produced by the burning of non-renewable fossil fuels. This does not only affect the global resources of fossil fuels, but it also affects the environment.